Hi guys and welcome to Kentis Kicks, another short episode here and it will be a short one because it's just another product that I've purchased. I was looking at getting a auto top off, spending about £40, something like that. I've not got a lot of money at the minute because Christmas has just gone, let me put this light on. And I found this, I've got an auto uh, a gravity auto top on my, on my tank upstairs that I made out of a bottle. Now this one... It's the Red Starfish. It's the Red Starfish MT01 and it's 4 litres auto water re uh, filler. Now it doesn't need any electric, no power, nothing else. It's purely gravity fed. And I tell you what, it's an absolutely great quality. Look at this. Lovely, lovely looking. I've seen a few of these uh, products, Red Starfish. I think it's a Chinese company, but you know what? I think they're really rivaling some of the um, big manufacturers that you see of these type of products. So look how quality that looks. Four liters, and if you look under there, there's a clamp, and there's this absolute great connection. Really good quality. You get the hoses, you cut them yourself, and basically how it works you take it off it just lifts off like a bucket the lids all intact it's because that's all airtight you've got to be airtight so the way you fill it up is you remove it get a funnel or whatever you've got with your RO water I've just got a, a brewery tank you know the um, tank the plastic tanks you can get it's got a tap on the bottom so I just open the tap and I fill this up so I take it out to my sink or wherever I am you undo that connection which opens up the vessel you get a little ton dish or something and you fill it with water on your side in your kitchen or something with your ro you screw this back on with your hoses and that's it that keeps your automatic your water automatically topped up there's the line that i've got it set to and it's been absolutely bob on and how it works is the you obviously have to initially set it up you have two hoses one hose to the water level an angle you cut slightly up and then your other one is obviously dipped in the water level and what happens is when the water level reduces the one that's at the surface temp at the surface level creates an air gap and with the air gap many of you will know comes the air then goes in and it creates breaks the vacuum and then the water comes out the other one there you go and I put that hose back in it causes a vacuum and it stops the emptying now my Evo 13.5 consumes about one litre of water a week you can get this in a two litre version and a four litre i got the four litre for 24 pound i think it was i really like the look of it i thought i'd give it a go for that price because i like the fact there's no more plugs no electricity no pumping over no filling no overfilling all that stuff no blocking of sensors and all that the only thing is will four litres be enough for this tank now my methodology there is my tank upstairs which is the evo 13.5 is 13.5 gallons and that uses consumes one liter a week or thereabouts this tank is the fluval m90 and this is 36 gallon so i thought four times as much with the sump four liters should about be enough so it won't be too much of a hassle for me to keep refilling so i'm hoping i'll get away with refilling that once once at the very most twice a week i've not touched that now for four days sorry two days because i filled it up and i'm messing with it for a while and since then i've actually put this polycarbonate top here and i've also put a glass top on my tank but I'll go through that on another video of my little updates I've done. So hopefully the evaporation won't be good. So I'm hoping, at the very least, it'll keep it topped up very well. One or two top-offs a week. And at the very least, tide it over if I'm on holiday for a week, five days. If I have to leave it all this set up and go away, that will at least keep it tied over. 
but at the very worst, if I have to, I could get another one, I suppose. So I've got eight litres there, but I don't know where I'd hook it on. I'd have to put a brace over or something, so there's another place here it could go. But, you know, I thought, yeah, that's worth it. I like, I like that sort of stuff. My other option is I've got this. This is actually designed for auto top-off water, and the pump will go in there. And it's all dry at the minute, look. But what I'm hoping, what, I've, what I thought was my UV is angled up at the back, look. I've got this in front, so and I'm hoping once I get to the point where I can auto uh, dose, they are going to be fed from the bottles. I'll have about three bottles of me dosing jobbies in there, fluids will be in there. But this was obviously uh, worst case scenario. I could have this still, and I could buy an auto top off uh, a pumped one, and then convert that as it should be to the auto top off which I've got to I've got to top this off anyway with water but obviously that I would probably imagine is about 10 litres in there it's probably a bucket of water isn't it which is tw uh, twice two and a half times as much as that just one more thing I thought that I bought at the same time was this a viewing tun dish a lot of great little product as well again you get this slight magnifying inside of the tub. Look at that. <laughs> and this is a floating one. So that actually floats on water. And now you see them in a fish shop and you can look through and look down on the actual water. Let's see. Oh, I can't see it. It's not really. But you can see there, look. So it's a floating one. It's not one that sticks on the side of the tank, but you could actually use it, you know, to look through there if you wanted to. And I thought I'd share that. Was £7.99. Brilliant price. Lovely size. You could also use it as floating and put your, I don't know, if you've got clean up crew you're taking out of your tank, you can sit your clean up crew in there while you're taking them out or moving them in between here and there and you just keep that floating and use it as a little tool that way as well brilliant hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching I think I got there off a seller off eBay thanks for watching please subscribe please hit the notification bell thanks for watching Bye.